Hi guys, I've got a massive Walmart grocery haul for y'all today. Thanksgiving edition, so stick around. So today's video is part of a collaboration with my really good friend Heather over at Homemaking with Heather. Heather does grocery shopping hauls, she does cleaning videos, she does vlog videos, and she has these two amazing parrots and they have their own channel. So I'm going to link Heather's channel in, just in the description box below. So after you're done watching this video, make sure you go down in the description box and click on her channel and she's going to be doing an amazing Thanksgiving shopping haul too, so check that video out as soon as you're done watching this video. So I did go shopping for Thanksgiving. We're not going to be doing a turkey this year, even though I did do a turkey recipe, and you should go check that out. It was my previous recipe for easy and delicious turkey breast, and it is amazing, but we already ate that. <laughs> and so we decided that we were going to do something a little different this year because we're not going to be getting together with a bunch of people. It's just going to be us. And I thought I would make this week some recipes that I just think about a lot during this time of year. So when I think of Thanksgiving, I think of comfort foods. And so when I was creating this week's menu, I decided that we were just gonna have like tons of comfort foods this week. And some of those foods are like fettuccine and chicken enchiladas. And so those things are gonna be on the menu this week. So let me go ahead and tell you what the menu is gonna be. So I did create eight meals for this week at least. So I have enough groceries to make eight meals worth of food. So this is what I have down for this week. Potato soup, chicken alfredo, and that is a Pinterest dish. Both of those are Pinterest. I usually get a lot of my inspiration from Pinterest. I'm doing buffalo chicken pasta, chicken and dumplings. That's one of our favorite things to eat, like a comfort food. Chicken enchiladas and I'm gonna make a split, split pea soup because I do have some leftover ham. I'm going to make a lentil vegetable soup because I have lots of lentils <laughs> that need to be eaten. And I'm going to make a zucchini casserole. So that's everything I have on the list for this week. And I didn't get a lot of meat this week because I have a lot of meat frozen already and I have some leftover meats and things like that. So that's why I didn't get very much meat this week. So let's get into this grocery haul, y'all. So I'm going to insert a picture of everything that I'm going to be making this week. I'm actually making eight meals, so not all of the meals are going to be fitting onto my menu planner. And we don't normally eat the meals in the order that I have them. So what I usually do is, as soon as I make the meal, I will erase that meal off of the board. And then when I have one meal left, I'll make my list up and go to the grocery store. Okay, so the first thing I got are 10 flour tortillas. This is for my chicken enchiladas. And I got a dozen and a half of eggs, because we're always eating eggs in the morning. I got some fresh spinach, and that is for my lentil vegetable soup. And I got a really big thing of spring mix salad, because I love to eat salads, and I'm gonna be making a Greek salad a lot. <laughs> So I got two of these grape tomatoes because I eat tons of salads, so I wanted to make sure that I had plenty. I got two cucumbers. I got some celery because that's going to go in my potato soup and my lentil soup. I got four zucchinis, and this is for my zucchini casserole. I got lots of carrots because I'm going to have carrots in my soups and I might be doing some carrots for sides for roasting. And I got some squash and this is for side, side dishes. And I also got some broccoli and this is to go in my salad and to eat for sides. I got four gala apples. Uh, my dog loves to eat apples, and my daughter loves apples, and we all love apples, so I got some apples. I also got some split peas, and that's for my split pea soup. I got four cream cheeses, 
because we're gonna have lots of cream cheese recipes, maybe for the potato soup, for my fettuccine, for my buffalo chicken pasta. So I needed lots of that. And sour cream for a lot of those recipes also. And heavy whipping cream. This is mainly for my fettuccine and I know it's gonna be going in my potato soup too, probably. I got three things of Velveeta. <laughs> I was gonna try this queso blanco. And I got two of the original because we're gonna do some because we're gonna do some rotel dip with sausage and rotel. I got two of the Tostito scoops, and this is for the rotel dip that we're gonna be doing. I also got my favorite pimento cheese. This is the palmetto cheese. I got some pepper, pepper jack cheese, and that is for my Rotel dip. I got two things of Parmesan cheese, and that is for my chicken Alfredo. I got this Monterey Jack cheese, and that is for topping my chicken enchiladas. I got some sharp cheddar, lots of sharp cheddar for dips and I'm gonna do sausage balls and so many recipes. I did need this, a lot of this, so. And now I've got tons of cheese. <laughs> and I went ahead and got four packages of taco seasoning. Uh, I'm gonna need one for my chicken enchiladas and I like to have, I like to have backup on that. I got some penne and that is for my buffalo chicken. Pasta. I always have these on hand because I like to grab these in the morning for a quick breakfast. I got some Bisquick for my sausage balls. I got some fettuccine noodles for my chicken fettuccine. I got some cinnamon toast crunch for my daughter. She loves cinnamon toast crunch. And I got this elf cereal for my daughter and for our elf. My husband loves vanilla wafers, so I got him some of those. And my favorite cracker, Triscuits. And I did get some of these seasoned croutons. Honestly, I'm addicted to these. I can actually just eat them <laughs> like they are, but I'm gonna put those in my Greek salad. I got found some Sinker Doodle cookies. They were out for the last two weeks, so. Found some of those. I got several Lunchables for my daughter. I got turkey, nacho cheese, and pepperoni. And I got some of these French fried onions. I thought we might have uh, the traditional Thanksgiving green bean casserole for a side this week, because we really like to make that up for Thanksgiving. Okay, so I love bean and bacon soup, and so I got two cans of bean and bacon soup. I got some vegetarian Hormel chili, and that's for a chili queso dip that I'm gonna make. Actually, we're not gonna eat like queso dip all week long. <laughs> I just wanted to have it on hand for the holidays because we love to eat chips and dip. So I got three cans of whole green beans. I do have some on hand already, so I just stocking up. Four cans of petite, petite diced tomatoes because I don't really have very many tomatoes. I don't have any regular tomatoes for dishes, so I wanted to stock up on those. I got three cans of cream of chicken. I know one of those is going to go into my zucchini casserole. I got four cans of diced green chilies because they don't always have these in the store, and so I wanted to stock up. Some of that's going to go in our dip, in our case dip, and some of it's going to be in our chicken enchiladas. I got two cans of cream of mushroom just to be stocking up. And we might make that green bean casserole. Two cans of Rotel. I did have some of those on hand already. This is the only cream of celery soup that I found. The healthy choice request. I don't have high hopes that this is going to taste good, <laughs> but it's actually going to be going into my chicken and dumplings, so 
I'll have enough goodie in there so it won't you won't be able to taste it that much but I usually put this in my chicken and dumplings got some more sliced Kalamata olives for my Greek salads and I got four no five chicken broths for everything we're gonna be making I got three things of Jimmy Dean sausage one of them's gonna be for breakfast sausage the others are gonna be for my Rotel dip and my sausage balls and I'm not gonna make it all in one day. So don't worry <laughs> And I got some bacon and that is for my potato soup and I got some chicken tenderloins I believe that is for my chicken alfredo and I got some extra chicken because everything pretty much is chicken this week that we're making and I do have some frozen chicken so uh, about halfway through the week, I'll just be thawing that. And I got two loaves of bread. I usually freeze my bread until we're ready to use it. Okay, so these are the dumplings that I use for my chicken and dumplings. These are frozen. So we really like these. Uh, I can make homemade ones, but these are really good, so. I got some mini pancakes just to stock up. I got some Mary B's biscuits. We love biscuits. Biscuits, sausage biscuits. I got some te Texas toast. I don't normally eat this, but I see a lot of y'all getting them. <laughs> so I thought I'd try it. So we, we'll probably eat that with maybe the Alfredo or buffalo chicken. I got that. I got some orange juice for drinking. And sometimes we have ramen. So I got a big thing of ramen. My daughter likes to eat it sometimes, so, and so do I. So, and over here in the chair, I got a big old 10 pound bag of potatoes because we love potatoes. I hope y'all like this haul and don't forget to check my description box and go over to Heather's channel at Homemaking with Heather and check out her video. She's gonna have a big old grocery haul for Thanksgiving on her channel too. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. I hope you'll have a great day. See you in the next video. Bye.